Hi, in today's video, we will take a look at why guarding is needed in low-level measurements and how to use guarding to obtain accurate measurement results. In electronics, a guard is defined as a low impedance point in circuit that is at nearly the same potential as the high impedance input terminal of interest. Intuitively speaking, the benefit guarding provides is well understood. When two points in a circuit are held at the same voltage potential, there would be no current flowing between these two points according to Ohm's law. Depending on how, uh, whether it is current or voltage mode measurement, uh, how guarding is implemented is slightly different. So let's first take a look at guarding in current measurements. Um, when using a picoameter or electrometer in current mode, the guard is the low input, uh, in this case it's the, uh, the, the black uh, lead, the low input terminal of the ammeter. Um, this is because picoameter or electrometers use feedback ammeter technique. So the voltage drop uh, across two terminals, in this case it's the red and uh, uh, black, would be uh, negligible. So it, typically the current drop is uh, in the tens to hundreds microvolt range, which is significantly lower than any shunt resistor based multimeters. So to see this, uh, let's take a look at the simple experiment uh, I set up here. So here I have a, I'm going to measure the current from this uh, one, uh, 100 microamp current source using a Keithley 614 picoameter, or sorry, uh, electrometer in its uh, 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 current mode. So let's hook it up. Um, hook it up here. Positive to positive and negative to negative. And you will see that uh, um, the current re reading is uh, 100 uh, microamp. So, which is not a surprise here. Um, what I'm going to do next is to, uh, to illustrate that the voltage, uh, to illustrate the voltage differential between the, these two amateur leads is indeed near zero. Let me place a 100K, uh, sorry, 10K kilo ohm resistor between them. Um, uh, yeah, that that the change little change is just because I was, uh, uh, you know, shifting the uh, the terminal here. But you'll see that virtually there's no change uh, in the reading. It's still 100 uh, microamp. So what this has anything to do with uh, guarding? Well, by definition, because the burden voltage is practical, practically zero, we can use the guarding. Uh, we can use the low uh, as the guard input terminal, so that no leakage uh, would be flowing. You know, no leakage current would be flowing through this tube. But the same can be said for a, a typical um, ammeter or you know your multimeters uh, amp, amp range. So let's take a look for uh, for yourself. Let's see you, using this uh, Keithley 196. Um, so let me set it to uh, the current mode. Right. So let's uh, let's lower it a little bit in micro amp. So again, let's um, use um, the Keithley 196 to measure the current. So you'll see that it's uh, uh, you know it's roughly roughly. Uh, Roughly 100 microamp. So now, if I place this uh, uh, this uh, resistor here, at least you see that the least significant digit here. Uh, notice that now it's nine, and if I put it on, it's eight, six, seven. So clearly, um, the loading effect of this resistor is uh, is uh, uh, measurable. Measurable. And this is because uh, the voltage drop across this uh, uh, this uh, Keithley 196. And in this particular case, actually, the voltage drop is pretty small. Uh, so let's take a look uh, right now using a uh, uh, using my uh, BK Precision 2709. So here I'm I have this uh, uh, BK Precision. Uh, you've seen this meter before. Uh, so we'll set it to uh, let's see. We'll set it to microvolt 
range. Uh, actually, let, yeah, microvolt range. Let's see what what's the voltage drop here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna uh, let's see uh, hook up this uh, Keithley 196. So now we see that uh, the current is flowing through it. And uh, when we are measuring, let's let's now measure the. Uh, um, the burden voltage here and as you can see there's only like one millivolt so that's actually extremely small for a, a shunt resistance based uh, um, uh, amateur but nevertheless you see that uh, um, it actually can affect the reading quite significantly well in this case it's not significant but can affect the reading so if we actually change the uh, um, you know the resolution a little lower Right, so in this case, it's, uh, um, you know, let's use the, uh, what do you call that, a little higher rather. So let's use the 100 microamp range. So now the, um, the voltage drop actually is quite significant. So right now you, you can see that I'm, uh, we're looking at 109, 110 uh, millivolts. So that actually would uh, uh, cause the, uh, the current reading to... Uh, be lower than what is uh, normal. So let's take a look at this uh, Keithley, uh, Keithley's uh, low-level measurement uh, uh, example here uh, to see what's going on, to see uh, you know what is the uh, how the guarding is used here. Uh, so here we're looking at measuring a uh, ionization chamber uh, which has a very high output impedance. So typically, when you're doing the measurement here, um, you know, without guarding, you would see this uh, leakage current uh, from the output to the ground here. Now, if we don't have this output, uh, this kind of uh, offset voltage here, uh, it wouldn't really matter because uh, this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, meter here, uh, as we, we saw before, both ends are uh, at, held at the same potential. So there wouldn't be any current flowing through this uh, resistor, but because we have this voltage here, um, uh, this forms a uh, you know a path for the current to flow, no matter how high this resistance is. So this would kind of skew the uh, the, the the reading here. Um, so here, we take a look at the same circuit again with guarding. Uh, basically, we tie the low um, input of the ammeter to a guarding ring um, you know you can place this outside uh, around this uh, sensitive uh, um, inner this output uh, uh, conductor so that there wouldn't be any uh, voltage differential between these two and thus there uh, all the current would be flowing through this uh, uh, ammeter uh, instead of uh, flowing through this uh, uh, you know the, the, this uh, uh, resistor here and any you know current flowing outside of this ammeter doesn't really matter because uh, uh, it's not going to you know flowing through the, uh, the ammeter itself, so it will not affect your measurement accuracy. So in our second experiment, experiment we're going to take a look at measuring the voltage from a high input impedance source. Now I could have used a, a real um, you know high impedance source for this this experiments but typically uh, you would need to have a um, very well shielded testing enclosure to to properly measure sources of this nature otherwise the uh, interference from the outside would cause uh, erroneous uh, readings so for simplicity I kind of doctored this uh, uh, BNC cable so what I did here is uh, I put a, uh, um, a 100k resistor here uh, from the center conductor so to, to mimic a uh, you know the sor a source with a um, 100k resistance, and I saw there this uh, uh, one meg resistor between the uh, the center conductor and the outer uh, shielding. This is to you know mimic the uh, the leakage of the uh, of the uh, of your cable. Normally, you know your cable would not have a uh, one meg. Uh, ohm leak between the uh, center conductor and uh, shielding, but uh, um, but this would de definitely demonstrate uh, you know uh, the same principle. 
and also because if the value we're using is a significantly lower, uh, we don't have to worry about uh, shielding. Okay, so if we hook this up to a uh, voltage source, so here is my um, uh, it's my HP 6113A uh, precision power supply and uh, I had to adjust it to be slightly above uh, 2 volts to get the, the 2 volts rating. Oh by the way let's uh, first measure the voltage rating here. So let me put this out of the um, uh, the current mode. Let's put it back into uh, the standard uh, uh, mode here. So let's get put this away first. And uh, now we are back to DC voltage. Um, let's take a look. Okay, I, I hooked up the wrong uh, terminal here. So let's take a measurement here. So it's roughly, uh, you know, 2 volts here. Uh, actually, it's uh, uh, more than accurate enough for our purpose. So now if I put this, um, if I hook up uh, the input, to our power source, to our uh, voltage source. Um, let's take a look at what is uh, measured uh, voltage here. So now we measure the output. We'll see that it's significantly lower than the uh, than the two volts no nominal range. That's because uh, the cable resistance, uh, the, sorry, the uh, the conductor between the conductor and the shielding resistance and the voltage source resistance form a voltage divider and we no longer get our uh, 2 volts from the output. And uh, what is perhaps more interesting is uh, I wanted to uh, make sure we, we I show you this is that uh, uh, the reason I used the Keithley 196 is because it has a very high input impedance mode uh, in its uh, three, range, uh, 3 volts range. Uh, in this range, the input imp impedance is roughly one terahm, so which you know this 100 ohm source impedance can be totally ignored. But if I were to use a uh, let's say a standard multimeter like this uh, BK Precision 2709 09B, uh, you will see that the measured uh, result is significantly well, it's not significantly, but it's a little bit lower than what what the uh, we 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 got on that uh, Keithley 196. And that's because, um, you know, the input impedance of this in the volt range here is only about 11 mega ohm. So, just something to be careful. Now let me show you a, a guarding circuit that I built. It's basically just a, a standard op-amp. Uh, in this case it's a AD8603 uh, uh, precision op-amp and I uh, soldered it into this uh, uh, voltage follower configuration and this is our ground and uh, I used a, uh, you know, just a, um, uh, a battery to power this so that uh, the cabling can be a little cleaner and here is our battery uh, I connect it to here yeah. and uh, here would be the output and the green one would be the, uh, the positive input so what we do in terms of guarding is we wanted to uh, make the outer shielding, uh, in this case it's a, the, uh, uh, this outer shielding here, to the same potential as our uh, input. So to do that, we will um, first of all connect our uh, connect our source output. By the way, the source output is after this uh, 100k ohm resistor because I wanted to simulate a source with that uh, resistance. So the input, I would hook this up to uh, to our input of this uh, of the uh, the uh, voltage follower. Okay, so that's one side is done, and. Uh, I would hook up the output, which is uh, this uh, red lead, to our uh, guard. In this case, it's the outer shielding of our um, BNC cable. And for this experiment, I didn't use a triax, but uh, um, if you were to use a triax, the ground would be, uh, you know, the ground would be connected to the triaxial cable's outermost. Uh, 
conductor. So now after we have set up this, if I were to measure the, uh, the voltage between um, the ground and the output, where's my cable? Now the cable output is here. So this is the cable output. I would get to very close to the nominal two volts um, output that originally I set uh, as, uh, you know, set our voltage source to be. And uh, just to uh, double check that, it's, you know, if I were to put on the input here, uh, this is 1999922, and here the output is uh, 1999926, so it's a little bit different, but uh, uh, very, very minor. So that is, you know, how guarding works in this case. So one thing I want to be uh, make make it clear is that guarding actually uh, only eliminated the cable resistance, and so you still need to be careful when you are taking actual measurements. Uh, you need to understand that uh, the the meter you are using uh, has a certain loading effect on the measurement. So previously I used this uh, uh, Keithley 196. It has a, a one tera ohm tera ohm input impedance for the uh, three volt range. But if I were to use a uh, Keithley, uh, sorry, uh, BK Precision 2709B, uh, this one only has a, uh, this one only has about 11 mega ohm input impedance. So here, if I measure the center conductor to uh, the ground, and you will get only 1.980, which is still much better than the 1.8 uh, value we got before. But nevertheless, um, the error introduced here is due to the, uh, uh, the, the impedance of the meter itself. Let me put that on the paper uh, so that it will be uh, more clear to you. Um, in our previous experiment, what I did was I have this uh, two volt uh, voltage source. Uh, so one side is uh, grounded, and the other side I connected a uh, um, 100k ohm resistor so to simulate the uh, the, the source voltage uh, the source resistance sorry so outside then what I we're doing is uh, we are actually measuring the um, we're trying to measure using a voltmeter to measure the, uh, the uh, here's our voltmeter to measure what the actual voltage reading is here now uh, what I also did was I also added this uh, 100, uh, 1 mag resistor here, 1 mag, mag. Um, also grounded that because this is uh, to the outer shield, right? So, so imagine this is a, uh, your uh, coaxial cable. So what, what is going on is uh, this is your cable and uh, this is uh, 1 mag is connected to the, uh, the, the uh, shielding and shielding is grounded. So the first time when we were measuring it, uh, when we were measuring it, uh, current not only flows through uh, flows th uh, through here, but also, uh, sorry, the current would be flowing through uh, the 100k and 1 mag uh, ohm resistor, and the 1 mag and 100k would form form a uh, voltage divider, and you will not get all the uh, the, the the voltage that was at your source. So. Um, what we did later was um, then we added this uh, uh, we added a voltage amp uh, voltage flower. So what we did was uh, we, we we still have this uh, voltage source, right? We still have the voltage source. Uh, we still have this uh, 100k re source resistor. However, um, we so this is your cable, and the cable still has some resistance here. So that's the one mag. And what we did here is we actually uh, put a op amp. So here is your op amp. And we connected the output of the op amp directly to the outer shielding of this cable. So what is going on is now when we're measuring the, uh, the voltage here, because the inner conductor and the outer shielding is held at the same potential, there's no current flowing through that. So uh, the only current flowing through is um, uh, through, you know, through the center conductor, through your uh, electrometer. 
And because the electrometer has a very high uh, input impedance uh, compared to this 100K uh, resistor, so you are uh, you know, not going to see any significant uh, voltage drop across this 100K. That's why when we uh, measured using that uh, guarding method, um, we were able to measure the true 2 volt source, mesh, uh, source voltage. And by the way, so if I were to add another resistor here um, to the ground, let's say 100K, right? So as you can see, this really doesn't matter because there, there is no current flowing through here. So essentially anything, any current flowing through this 100K uh, resistor outside this uh, shielding, uh, this guard rather, is provided by the op, op amp. So it will not affect your uh, actual measurement reading. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know if you are uh, you need more information on any of the things I di discussed here and I'd be happy to uh, explain more.